Sunnyo.com. Sunnyo.com. I got up this morning and I, I wrote this down. I wanted you to, to I wanted to share this with you. So I have I, I came up with actually ten things, and you know it could be twenty five. I do you know, but it's ten, uh, and there are lots of other uh, things to do. And but ten things that I think are good things to incorporate into your life and how you live your life and who you become. My mom used to always say, what you will one day be, you're now becoming. In other words, everything that you pour into yourself, good or bad, that is what you are. You know, some people say you are what you eat. Well, you know, you are what you do and you are what you put into yourself. And so I want to give you some advice on how to get good things into yourself to, to reap good benefits. So the first thing I have is don't burn bridges. <laughs> don't burn bridges. And you, maybe you've heard that already. Um, but, you know, when you go along life's path, um, it's not always going to work out the, the way you want it to. But you still have to maintain some grace and appreciation. And you never want to, to really be nasty to anybody. Because when you climb, there is all, and you got to come back down sometimes, and you might meet those same people on the way down who, you know, are in a position to help you, but if you've burned your bridge there, you can't go back. So even when it doesn't work out and somebody has done you bad, um, hasn't treated you fairly or whatever, don't burn your bridge. You know, move on, be gracious, and you never know. Maybe you'll never see them again in life, but you never know. Number two is don't gossip. It really is dangerous. It's just dangerous to get involved, you know. Well, you say something, and if somebody brings something to you, that person is a carrier. That means they will take whatever you say back. They're simply a carrier. So if they come to you with information, you can count on it 100%. They're going to go back with whatever it is you said. And then they're just going to cause a whole bunch of mess. Stay out of it. Just stay out of it. Because um, you don't need that drama. You really don't. I mean, you don't need the drama. It's not going to add anything to your life. So don't gossip. Surround yourself with positive people. And I'm sure you are already doing that. You wouldn't be sitting here if you weren't. But it's something to keep remembering. Bad influences and uh, bad people will bring you down. If you associate with them, they will bring you down, no matter how good your intentions are. So just stay positive. And you need to have a positive frame of mind anyway to keep moving forward, right? So surround yourself with positive people. If you find yourself in a relationship with someone who's not positive and you, know, you feel yourself like not liking it, trust your gut and walk away. Cut it off and move on because you don't need that either in your life. Number four, stay focused on what it is you're doing. You have a goal in mind, there's some things you want to accomplish, stay focused on it. Don't let other things distract you that are not going to enable you to move in that direction. So stay focused. Work hard. Don't be afraid of hard work. Always give it your 100%. So if you feel like you don't have time to do it now, you certainly don't have time to do it twice. So get it done right the first time. Give it your 100%. Roll up your sleeves. You know, buckle down, do what you got to do. Do the work. It's okay. You know, it's work. It's not play. That's what they call it work. Do it. It's okay. You'll, it'll, you know, and once you start, the sooner you will be finished with whatever that task is. Give it your all. Take advantage of opportunities. All kinds of opportunities. Even if you've never done it before. So someone comes and asks you to be uh, a reporter for the school newspaper or the editor of the paper. Or someone asks you to organize a rally, or um, someone asks you to give a speech at a rally, and you've never given a speech before, you've never organized such a thing, maybe you should try it. You know, maybe you should try it. And my point of view is, failure is not trying. Failing is never trying to begin with. So, you know, I mean, you're, you're not going to be great at everything. But as you take advantage of opportunities, you're going to discover things about yourself. You know, you're going to discover, well, I can organize a rally, you know, or I can lead a newspaper or lead an organization or what, you know, whatever it is. I can work at the radio station. 
And then there are going to be some times you go, you know what, that really, <laughs> it seemed like a good idea at the time, but it didn't work out so well. It's okay. You've learned something about yourself. You may learn that you're proficient, you're not great, but you're proficient at something. You can get better if you keep doing it. So don't, don't spurn opportunities just because you've never done it before. Dream big. You know, if you dream small, you get small. Dream big. Don't be afraid of it. My mom used to say, if you reach for the stars uh, and you don't make it, you'll fall among the treetops. Still be up there. Right? So dream big, as big as you possibly can. And then move in that direction. Don't, don't see yourself where you are. You see yourself where you're going and where you will be. See yourself in that light. Number eight is embrace the beauty and the talent within. You are not your thighs, you are not your butt, you are not your boobs, big or small. You're not that. You are what's inside of you. And I know you ladies know that already. But there's so much coming at us all the time in, in commercials and ads. And, and sometimes the relationships that we find ourselves in, art relationships, that will begin to twist your thinking about who you are. And you can't let that happen. You have to know who you are inside. What kind of person are you? Are you loyal? Are you kind? Are you trustworthy? Are you dependable? Are you a good friend? Are you a listener? Are you a doer? You know, are you an organizer? Are you a planner? Know who you are. You know, I'm a survivor. I've, you know, maybe you've been through something in your, in your lives. And you know that you've had a tough time and you've come through it. You know something about yourself. You're a survivor. You're not big thighs, you're a survivor. You know what I'm saying? And know your talents. You're a good speaker, or you're a good writer, or you're creative, or you're artistic, or know what your talents are. You won't know all of them now, because it's always a learning process, but know some of what you bring to the table. Own it. Embrace it. Own also the weaknesses. Because you can, you can feed the strengths, and you can improve the weaknesses. So embrace who you are. And whenever you look in the mirror, own up to it. I'm a survivor, I'm a listener, I'm a good friend, I'm all that and more. Yeah, I've got some weaknesses. I do this, I do that. I'm working on it. Number nine, feed the spiritual. You have to know, you, you all have to know that there is a power greater than yourselves. There's a higher power. I don't know what you choose to call it. But I think if you live in this world long enough, you know that there's a higher power. The creator of the universe is also your own creator. And I think it's worthy to spend some time with your creator. Because the creator knows you better than you know yourself. And if you really are going to be able to listen to, because, and I wrote this, first I wrote, I wrote down, listen to your heart. But sometimes your heart can lead you astray if you're not connected to the one who knows you better than you know yourself. So spend some time feeding the spiritual, meditating or prayer or studying things that will enhance your spirituality. Because when you get connected with that higher power, then you are able to listen to your heart. And your heart will lead you in the direction you're meant to be. Because I believe we're all here for a purpose. Every one of us has a, we're, there's something each one of us has to do while we're here, each one of you. But you won't know it unless you have that sort of divine connection and you're able to hear it in your heart. So you have your mind, but your heart too. And the last thing is, start now. Start now. There's no better time to start preparing for the great life that you're going to live than to start right now with all those other things. So that's what I wanted to share with you. Yeah. <laughs>